pretty cool space. I'm going to have to look up more of the history of it. So the reason I went to St. Stephen's Green was because I first heard about that place in a song by the Pogues. So the song is Snake with Eyes of Garnet, and you could check that sound on YouTube. And in it, he references um, being taken by someone to an execution that was being held on Stevens Green. I'm like, hey, I'm in Dublin. Uh, what's this Stevens Green? Let me go take a look at it. So I was walking around. I go, I'm going to go over to Stevens Green. So I walked down the streets, walked, walked for blocks, and ended up, oh, there's Stevens Green. Went across, I think there was buses. I'm not sure. I don't really remember, but I think I crossed tracks and then went over and there was the park. And I'm going, oh, so Steve, it's a it's a big park. So I started walking through the park and looking around and saw the different statues and different things dedicated to um, some of the people and the history of the place. And so like Dublin itself, I mean, that area has a long history to it. Uh, at one point, I think, I think I read that it was 60 acres and it was a marsh. A, a river that's close by and I forget the name of it um, emptied into there and so it was just a marshland at one point people would just bring their livestock there to you know graze and whatever and over the years a lot of different kinds of activity developed around that space at one end of it you would find a lot of um, prostitutes and a lot of uh, thieves and crime and stuff was going on. At another uh, point in history, you had the Easter Uprising, where Irish locals who were tired of the English and wanted to throw off the English from ruling over them in Dublin there, and they fought uh, a battle there. And you could still see the bullet holes in some of the stone uh, facades of the buildings around the area. Another point is that St. Stephen's Green, St. Stephen got its name from a church or a cathedral that was nearby called St. Stephen's. And that place, that church became a leper uh, hospital at one point. So apparently they had leprosy in Ireland. There had been so much crime and um, it was strewn with trash and all sorts of things that the people, the city was tired of the mess. And so the city didn't want to deal with it anymore and they sold it and it became um, a private. So a private group took it over. And originally the city had tried to develop around the area and built a bunch of buildings and stuff and so that was part of it but then they sold it to this private group and so the group built a wall around st stephen's green and um, put up a gate and stuff and so only the the locals who lived right there um, would get a key and they would be the only ones who had access to that space and so that lasted for about about 60 years. So for 60 years, it was in private hands and only certain people who had a key could access it because of what it was before that. It was just a mess with all sorts of, you know, just really negative things happening around there. It was trashy and crime and all sorts of things. And that got cleaned up once they booted everybody out. And then one of, I, I don't know if he was the founder of Guinness, the um, beer, the ale uh, corporation, the, I, I don't know his name, bought the property from the group that owned it. And he opened it up for the general public again so everybody could come in. And so now it's it's well maintained. It's taken care of. It's a beautiful space. You can walk around it. It's got um, 
you know, it's, it's uh, very lush and lots of vegetation and it's really serene and nice park-like atmosphere. And a lot of people go there and people hang out there. And, you know, it's got a sordid past. It's got um, a lot, a lot, a lot of history, you know, just like it, just like everywhere else around, uh, you know, um, Ireland. So another thing that was going on were body snatchers that were in the area. So, uh, so across the street, the buildings that surround the square, there was a, a surgeon's college. And the surgeons would get cadavers and they would learn how anatomy worked on the inside and they would go in and they would practice surgery and they would have these bodies in, you know, in the building right there um, where they lived. And, you know, you might have surgeons that I, you know, I listened to one podcast where they said the surgeons would have these bodies like in their living room and they would be in their practicing but where did the surgeons get the bodies so that they were digging them up from graveyards and the and they weren't buried very deep so they would just go in they would dig these bodies up and they would bring them to that surgeon's hospital that was right there by St. Stephen's Green right across the street and they said there was one story where these body snatchers got so bad um, as sort of a plague themselves where they went uh, to a wake that was in progress where somebody had died and they were holding a wake for this person. These body snatchers went right in and stole the body right from the wake and put it in their wagon and were dragging it down the street while the family was chasing after them trying to get the body back. So you can see there was a lot of terrible things that were going on around there. I read where there were over 200 executions in that space over just the span of a couple of years. Um, one of the more famous ones was a woman who had murdered her husband and even the newspapers wouldn't print the details of what she did because it was so gruesome. So what they did with her is they they hung her and then after she, after about a half an hour, when she was finally dead from the hanging, they burned her bodies. You know, she was hanging by a rope, but they had chains around her body. And then when the fire uh, burned the rope, the rope broke, but her body was still being held up by the chains and she went into flames. And so, yeah, so you can see all the sort of different kinds of things that were happening around there. Also, there was a certain um, individual that used to hang out there all the time, and his name, you will recognize from history, his last name anyway, was Hitler. And I don't mean Adolf, I mean his half-brother, Alois, A-L-O-I-S, I think his name is, Alois, or Alois, or however it's pronounced, I don't know. But So Hitler's half-brother used to come and hang out around there as well and then he married uh an irish woman i think and they went back to the uk and they had a kid and then their history is whatever it is a, a very historical place and there are lots of tales to be told from there and you can um look all these things up one of the one of the busts of a statue that I looked at in there, it's the last one in the video, is a guy, he was just in his 20s, and this was at the outbreak of World War One, and he joined up with the English to go fight the Germans, and he ended up getting killed in a French town. Um, let me see, what was the name of that? French town, Guinchy, G-U-I-N-C-H-Y. I don't know how to pronounce it. That Guinchy is probably wrong. It's a French word, so anyway, if you speak French, you can figure it out. But they have a bus to him there, and he was um, a friend of James Joyce, and he was, 
he was a poet and an essayist and he was a young guy and he had all these you know aspirations of what he wanted to do with his life and then he decided he wanted to go fight in the war and he died in a battle there a very rich history um, just like all over Ireland and the UK and the rest of Europe very rich deep history and that's one of the things I really loved about traveling is the thousands of years that of history that are just present and immediate and right there to be seen you know so anyway enjoy the video it's just a quick look around uh, St. Stephen's Green I suggest if you're in Dublin you go visit the area uh, think about the history of it when you walk through it look around the exterior of it look at some of the buildings see if you can see the bullet holes in the walls um, take a walk through look at the arch look at the different uh, read the the um, the statues the words that they have there on the statues and things the monuments and enjoy the space and peace thanks for watching my videos I appreciate you guys bye this is st. Stephen's Green it's a park it's a park here in Dublin and apparently at one time it was the site of executions. It's a pretty big space. Let me show you this. Pretty cool space. I'm going to have to look up more of the history of it. So apparently there were public executions here. There was body snatching going on here. Careful walking under this tree. Take a look at this. So it kind of morphs from one kind of space into another kind of space. You can see all the paths going every which way. Pick a direction, any direction, and then just go. So if you come to Dublin, definitely worth visiting Stephen's Green.
So lots of different paths to take. Ways to go.